How is that possible? Weren't you here when it happened? No, I... I wasn't here. Always regretted that I wasn't. Where were you? In the fall of 1970, I was traveling in Europe. When I returned, I found Collingwood, just as you two had found it. I asked questions everywhere with as little success as you've had. If you understand this, if you feel frustrated after just a few days, you can imagine how I feel after 25 years. I don't understand why you didn't tell me this when we ran into each other the other day. I was terrified for your safety. But why is the truth? Shortly after I returned, I heard rumors of strange happenings in Collingwood. I thought if I could undo what had been done, I might at least restore poor Carolyn's mind. I attempted an exorcism and very nearly paid for it with my life. How? I saw the ghost. But that wasn't what terrified me so. It was the overwhelming sense of evil that surrounded me. It seemed to be smothering me to death. I, I turned and ran. I never saw the ghost again after that. And you never found out what happened to the rest of the family? No one has. They vanished. For all we know, they may all be buried somewhere in the house. The night it happened, Quentin Collins was found wandering in the woods, totally incoherent. Carolyn was found cowering in the tower room. They had both gone mad. I've always suspected that Carolyn was the only person who knows what really happened. But the secret is buried, perhaps forever, in the darkest corner of her mind. Elliot, there are certain things that we must find out, and you're going to help us. I don't know how, but I am willing to try. We'll be in touch with you soon. I didn't, my dear. I don't believe you. You must. And you must do something else for me as well. Please sit down and let me talk to you. Artemis, what if Carolyn is still here? I doubt it should have stayed here this long. That's fine. No idea. This room is obviously important. Why is it not in the same condition as the rest of the place, Julia? Any clue could be helpful. Barnabas, look! Birthday card. And it's brand new. Happy birthday to my dearest Tad from your loving Carrie. Who in the world could Tad and Carrie be? Well, Julia, which way now? Barnabas, do you think Stokes was telling us the truth? About how much he knows? Yes. He was frightened and confused, but he wasn't lying to us. Oh, if we could only find Quentin. Oh, Barnabas, if Quentin's been in a mental institution, he can't help us. Well, uh, I would still like to question him. Poor Stokes. He's so baffled by the fact that Quentin isn't 
He's as young as he was in those years. Obviously, Quentin's portrait is still intact. If anything has happened to it, he would have grown old by now. Do have a visitor. There won't be another birthday party for a whole year. Will it be that long before I see Cat again? I don't know, Carolyn, but it isn't really very important, is it? Yes, it is. It's very important. Please, search your mind again. Try to remember what happened on that night in 1970. It isn't good to dwell in the past. We've been good friends for a long time, haven't we? We've always confided in one another. That may no longer be possible. What do you mean? You have new friends now, haven't you? Carolyn, they're your friends too. Julia and Barnabas are, are trying to help. They spoiled my party. They should never have come into the room. Why did you tell them about it? about yourself, Quentin. You had no right to stop me. Who are you, anyway? Well, look at us. Don't you recognize us? No. No, you can't be... You can't be who you look like. They went away a long time ago. But we are. I'm Barnabas, and this is Julia. No. <laughs> it's one of his tricks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The, the attendant's always playing tricks on me. <laughs> well, we'd better get him downstairs. Carolyn? <laughs> You've often said that everyone would come back to Collingwood one day. Yes. Do you really believe that? They will all come back. Does that mean you know where they went? Yes. Can you tell me? They never said goodbye. I always thought that was very strange. Has it ever occurred to you that their coming back depends upon you? What I mean is, you've never been able to remember what happened on that night in 1970. Perhaps if you could remember, it would be possible for things to change. Collingwood could be as it was. Do you really think so? Yes. Yes, I do. Please, try to remember something. Anything. It's so strange. There are times when I think I remember. Times when I dream and seem to relive it all. At times when certain things jar my mind. A song, a stillness in the night, a child's toy. But I can never put all the fragments together. I, I just can't do it. Come, my dear. I'll take you home. Music. 
It's the same music we heard when we were here the other evening. It was just before we saw the figure in the window. I don't want to go in there. Are you frightened, Quentin? No. Then we must go in. Quentin, we must go in. No! No! David, don't you recognize us? It's Barnabas and this is Dr. Hartman. Speak to us! It's Barnabas, he won't speak. The ghost of David Carlin. Yes. Why has it come back to Collinwood now? Perhaps he's been here ever since the, the catastrophe. If only we'd been able to communicate. Did you see the expression on his face when he looked at us? Yes. There was absolutely no recognition. Julia, I'm convinced that this room holds the key to what we're looking for. I know this room didn't exist in 1970, and yet room had something to do with what happened then. Even though it didn't exist? Strange as that sounds, yes. But how, how can we find out what happened, Barnabas? We've been trying to from the beginning. I think Quentin knows more than he's telling us. I'm so anxious to know why he reacted to the ghost when he saw it like he did. Yes, why did he run off like that? And more important, where did he run to? Well, in any case, we better find him. He's in no condition to be wandering around by himself. No. No, you stay away from me. God, please stay away from me. Please.
There's no way out, no way out. What are you talking about? He's got us trapped in here. Who has? He's got us trapped in here. And there's no way out. Tell us who you're talking about. He's going to kill us. And there's nothing we can do to stop it. He's out there on the landing. I saw him. Quentin, we came just across the landing and down the stairs and we saw nothing. He is out there on the landing, I'm telling you. I saw him. Prove to you, Quentin, that there's no one there. Uh, where are you going? I'm going to the landing. No, Barnabas, he'll kill you. the old house with us, and Julia will give you a sedative. No. I don't want anything from either one of you. You should have never come back here. Never. Barnabas. The same feeling I had when we were here the other night. The feeling of the presence of evil. Julia, let me take you back to the old house. Someone, someone is watching us, Barnabas. There's no one here, Joe. No, no one that we can see, but the feeling, the feeling is, it's overwhelming. Come, come along. <laughs> 